Commercial and Government Entity Code, also known as CAGE Code, is a code assigned to businesses providing a product or service to the U.S. government. In the NATO codification system community, it's referred to as NATO Commercial and Government Entity Code, also known as NCAGE Code. A NCAGE is a five-character alphanumeric identifier assigned to entities located outside of the U.S. and its territories. In business, an entity refers to a person, department, corporation, cooperative, partnership, business, manufacturer, organization, or other groups. Non-U.S. entities are to register through the NATO Support and Procurement Agency, better known as NSPA, to obtain an NCAGE code using the NATO Codification Tools ePortal at the displayed link. Once at the ePortal, click on CAGE slash NCAGE code request and follow the instructions to obtain an NCAGE code. Once the request has been submitted, a validation email message will be sent to the entity point of contact listed on the NCAGE request for confirmation. Once received, the entity point of contact will confirm the request by clicking on the embedded link in the email. The NSPA will assign a NCAGE code or forward the request to the applicable National Codification Bureau, also known as NCB. An email or letter from either the NSPA or NCB will be sent to the entity point of contact if a NCAGE code is not assigned. The entity point of contact can inquire about their NCAGE code by contacting the NSPA or applicable NCB nation in which their entity is physically located. The list of applicable contacts can be located at the displayed link under Contacts. When the NCAGE code is assigned, the NSPA or the appropriate country's NCB will forward all NCAGE code information to the DLA CAGE program office. Once the DLA CAGE program office receives the NCAGE code, it will be displayed within one business day after assignment in the CAGE Search and Inquiry, also known as CSI. The CSI page can be accessed at the displayed link. If the NCAGE code is not displayed in the CSI, but is located in NSPA, contact the DLA Customer Interaction Center at the displayed email to report the discrepancy. Once assigned to NCAGE and before doing business with the United States government, Entities must obtain a Data Universal Numbering System number, also known as DUNS number, by registering at the displayed link. When acquiring a DUNS number, entities are to register using their legal business name, address, and ensure that all information must match exactly in DUNS, NSPA, and CSI. In addition to the assigned NCAGE code and a DUNS number, entities must also complete the registration process in the System for Award Management, also known as SAM, at the displayed link. Entities registering in SAM must submit a notarized letter appointing their authorized entity administrator. For more information, please read our updated FAQs at the provided link to learn more about changes to the notarized letter review process and other system improvements. Changes to the business name and address must be made in DUNS and NSPA, and both must match. The entity can log onto the SAM status tracker to check their status. The DLA CAGE program office will review and process the SAM registration with the NCAGE code within 10 business days from receipt of request. The DLA CAGE program office will contact the entity's POC if additional action is required. Once the DLA CAGE program office has processed the SAM registration, the entity's registration will be active in SAM with a new expiration date and with a status reflecting active. The CSI will reflect the new expiration date. For more information on CAGE or NCAGE, visit the displayed link.